just going to have a few words here about why it is we think soya beans are now a viable prospe prospect uh, in the UK. Um, we have grown soya in the UK in the past, uh, in, back in 2003, there were probably around 3,000 acres grown in the UK, um, and even back then we couldn't get about a tonne an acre, so uh, the crop was produced uh, successfully uh, back then, but there were two problems which uh, really worked against it. The first one was the fact that the price back then was very low. Uh, we could only get in the region of about 170 pounds a tonne with a yield of about a tonne an acre. Um, then uh, we were getting something like 170 pounds gross output. It cost about 100 pounds an acre to grow it. So we were really just getting a re return in the region of its a margin of about 70 pounds an acre, which is clearly uh, not enough. Um, so that was the first problem. Second problem was that uh, the area payment for oil seeds at the time, and soya is classified as an oil seed, was significantly lower than it was for pulses, uh, protein crops, or cereals. Um, peas and beans would perhaps get 180 pounds an acre back then. Oil seeds were down about 120, so in actual fact, the lower subsidy meant put us at something like a 60 pound uh, an acre disadvantage as well. So, the poor price and this subsidy problem were really a major issue, and it effectively uh, meant the crop wasn't that economic a proposition uh, for the grower. As a result, the scheme effectively mothballed. Now. What has changed? Well, everything really. Uh, the, that subsidy problem has gone. The single farm payment was introduced, I think, in 2006. And as a result, all crops, flat rate subsidy, so that disadvantage that soya used to live with is now gone. Uh, and that's a, a big help under the SFP scheme. Obviously, everything, uh, all crops are, are equal. Uh, the other enormous difference has been that the price has more than doubled. Uh, back in 2005 soya beans were probably worth something like £170 a tonne. Today in 2011 we're seeing values in excess of £400 a tonne um, and clearly if you spend £100 an acre growing it today um, you get a tonne an acre um, you get £400 for it, then clearly that's a gross margin of £300 an acre for a nitrogen fixing uh, break crop, a very good break crop, and that is an excellent um, gross margin, uh, and it becomes quite an economic proposition. So, uh, a number of things have changed. The price uh, has definitely helped enormously, and we think that that price will remain high. Uh, even if cereals go, go down from their current high, if cereals go down, we don't believe soya will. Soya has increased steadily in price, whereas cereals have done this. Soya has gone straight up, uh, and we think that that will continue. So we think that good price will remain, uh, hence the decent gross margin. The subsidy problem has gone. The, uh, we have, if anything, much improved varieties over the ones we had 10 years ago, and as I say, even then we could have done a tonne an acre. Um, they are earlier, better standing, better plant architecture, uh, and so on and so forth. We have much better agronomy programme, which I'll be speaking about in a separate video. Um, and if you take the whole thing in the round, we now believe that soya really can, uh, can offer the, the grower an excellent proposition. In terms of area suitability, we can go anywhere from the Vale of York uh, across to Staffordshire and really anywhere south of that line, um, Lincolnshire, the Midlands, East Anglia, the South East, uh, Severn Valley, really all the areas in the south are, are perfectly appropriate. So yeah, we, uh, we look forward to, to growing some soya beans with you. Thank you.